How to assess a child with a cough? This is Abraham and this is Emma. Both children have a cough, which is a common symptom in sick children, but one is very ill and needs urgent care. Do you know which child it is? This is not easy to tell without assessing the children, as many things can cause a cough. A child may be coughing because of a common cold and is usually then not very sick. This is often an infection of the upper respiratory or breathing tract, which affects the nose, throat or trachea, or upper airways. If the child has a runny or blocked nose, the moisture that drips from the nose down the throat and into the lungs can cause a cough. Usually, these mild infections are caused by viruses, but in some cases can be caused by bacterial infections that are more severe. Sometimes, a child with a cough is very sick. A lower respiratory tract infection affects the breathing tubes and the lungs. This may be caused by severe illnesses like bronchitis, tuberculosis or TB or pneumonia. A child could also have an asthma attack or an allergic reaction, which can be serious and need immediate attention. As community health workers, we can save lives by finding out as early as possible whether the cough is a sign of a mild, moderate or severe illness. We can then treat the child if it is a mild illness or refer them to a health facility if it is a severe illness. If it is a moderate illness, we can decide whether to treat or refer the child. But how do you recognize if a cough is due to an illness that is mild, moderate or severe? The answer is to find out more by asking the caregiver a few questions and looking at the child. This video will show you how to assess a child's signs and symptoms. Look out for another video in this module that explains how to act and treat the child based on the findings of this assessment. Let's start with the first part. Ask. Number one. Find out more about the history of the cough. You can ask, when did the cough start? Is it getting worse? A cough that is getting worse can be more serious, especially if the child starts struggling to breathe. Also, according to the World Health Organization and UNICEF, a cough lasting for 14 days or more can be a danger sign as it might be a sign of TB. Number two, find out if the child has other symptoms. You can ask, does he have a fever? a blocked or runny nose, or a sore throat? Is he vomiting? Is he able to drink liquids normally? If the child has other symptoms with the cough, like a blocked or runny nose and vomiting, it can be a viral infection. But if the child has a cough, fever, and no other symptoms, it is more likely to be a lower respiratory infection like pneumonia. If the child cannot drink enough to stay hydrated, it can be a danger sign. Number three, find out if the child is struggling to breathe. You can ask, is he breathing faster and when did this start? Does he struggle to breathe? Is he more sleepy or difficult to wake up? Has his lips or face turned blue? All of these are signs of a serious illness and the child needs to be treated or referred immediately. Lastly, number four, Find out if the child has been with anyone who is sick. You can ask, is anyone at home sick? Has anyone been sick lately and how long were they sick? Is there anyone at home or in the family with TB or on TB treatment? If the child is in contact with someone who is sick or has TB, they may get infected too. The answers to all these questions will help you understand the child's signs and symptoms and how severe they may be. But this is not enough to make a good decision. You will also need to look at the child. Start by looking at their eyes, nose and throat. Look for a blocked or runny nose, a red throat, large swollen lymph nodes in the neck, red eyes or yellow or green fluid in the corners of the eye. Symptoms associated with a cough may include a blocked or runny nose, which are often caused by a common cold. This moisture may drip from the nose down the back of the throat 
irritating the throat and going into the lungs. Swollen lymph nodes can tell you that there is an infection in the body. When the whites of the eyes are red with yellow or green fluid in the corners, it usually indicates an infection caused either by a bacteria, a virus or both. Then, look to see if they are having difficulty breathing, which is a sign that the child is very sick and needs immediate care. Here, you will need to do four things. First, count the number of breaths per minute in all children with a cough to identify fast breathing. Then, look for chest indrawing in all children. Also, see if the nostrils widen when breathing in and listen for grunting while the child breathes out. Thirdly, listen to the child's breathing. An asthma attack can cause a wheezing sound. If it sounds like a barking cough, this can be a sign of a viral infection called croup. Lastly, look for other signs that show the child is struggling to breathe such as blue lips or leaning forward or tilting their head up or back while trying to breathe. Watch other videos that will show you how to do all these checks. If you see any sign of the child struggling to breathe, this is very serious and you need to refer the child immediately. After doing all this, you should have enough information to decide if the cough is a sign of a mild, moderate or severe illness. If it indicates a mild illness, you can help the caregiver treat the child at home. If it indicates a moderate illness, you will decide whether the symptoms can be treated at home or if the child needs to be referred. However, if it indicates a severe illness, you should refer the child urgently to a health facility. This will be explained in more detail in another video. Let's go back to Abraham and Emma. After doing a detailed assessment of each child, you've learned that Abraham has chest indrawing with his cough. Emma has a runny nose and an occasional cough. So now can you recognize which child is very ill and needs urgent care? Yes, it's Abraham as he shows a danger sign. So you will need to refer him for urgent care. For Emma, help her caregiver treat the common cold at home. Remember, before taking any action, ask questions about the child's symptoms and look at the signs they are showing. By following this process, you could save a life.